Hi everybody, it's Joe Crew from FinSuite. In this video, we go over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the filter component. In this video, we're going over how to set up a reset all button inside CMS library. We have a new option in here called filter reset. Filter reset will allow you to define a button as a reset all button. We will be able to select our options. We have branding, web design, CMS true, 2020. We are filtering our grid with these selected filters. If I were to reset all, it will reset all of the active filters, reset the grid, and unselect all of the UI elements that were selected. Let's go into designer. We'll look at the classes that we need and we'll look at how to update our script with this filter reset button. We're in designer and we have to have a class on our reset all button. That's it. It doesn't need any special placement. It doesn't need a parent wrapper. It doesn't need to be anywhere specific on the page. We just need to apply a unique class to it. In this example, we have filter reset master. When we go into custom code, we will use this on our filter reset option. We're in page settings. We're going to go down past our filter array into the filter instance. And you'll see we have an option called filter reset. Filter reset has a class of filter reset master. This is the class that we applied to that reset all button. And that's all we need. We apply our filter reset master to the filter reset. Now that class, anytime it's clicked, is going to reset every active filter in our grid. That's effing sweet.